it's so easy to look at materials and assume that, man, that must mean that this person is happy because they have these nice things. Because that's kind of how we've grown to see it, you know? Um, I read a really interesting book called uh, The Influential Mind by Tally Sherritt, or uh, Sherry Tallett? Tally Sherritt, I wanna say. Okay. Um, and one of the sections was about how humans perceive worth and so at one point the the author mentions that she wanted to test this thing with her daughter where uh, in certain like uh, native american cultures if i'm not mistaken they would put like four items in front of a baby and whatever item the baby chose said what they would end up doing so if they put like a fish in front of the baby uh, or you know a you know, knitting material in front of the baby or like a sword uh, you know whatever the case is if the baby chose the sword they'd be a warrior if they chose the fish they'd be a fisher if they chose the knitting thing they'd stay at home and they'd make clothes or whatever right Right, very self-explanatory. She tried to do this with her child, um, and because the author is a neuroscientist, uh, she did it in a much more scientific path. She put like <laughs> a brain in front of the baby, you know, like a plastic brain to see yeah. if she uh, would also be a neuroscientist, or like a plastic heart to see if she would be, uh, you know, a cardiologist. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, you know, and things of that sort. And then the baby sits there in front of these four items. And then turns around and grabs the mother's iPhone off the table because that's what the baby saw is like most valuable. Uh, when kids are growing up, they see their parents always on their phones. Right. And so as a result, it's just like, man, these people spend so much time with this thing. It must be of value. And that's the same thing that we perceive things now, right? So if we look at a beautiful apartment that everybody thinks is like, man, that's amazing. The only reason why we say that is because, you know, you think, man, that's super luxurious. I start thinking that as well. We have so much influence on one another sure. that we don't even realize. Group so there's think. so many amu um, like amazing things like that. If you want to read this book, again, it's called The Influential Mind. The Influential I Mind. I want to say Tally Sherritt. I want to okay. say is her name. I, I apologize if I get that wrong, but uh, incredible book. So. That's super interesting. Yeah, we we make decisions based on not only our inherent value, but also what the external apparent value of 100%. that thing is. 100%.